Hello my friends, uh, this is yet another video, this time it's not about this name NAC D3 or CD3 as it is also known, but about yet another reason why a CD won't play. Some people say, oh it's choosy, you know, with playing or won't play CDRs and uh, I need to replace the laser. You probably won't need to replace the laser uh, and I'll show you another reason why a thing won't play. You put the pack on, this is the original name pack oh, it has just read it but as you observed it, uh, it read table of contents probably if I need to press, if I press play I don't want it because it's going to start actually playing and, and it will have a um, copyright infringement um, what happens is that as you've seen the, the CD actually slips on the turntable and the reason for that is, two, a twofold reason um, firstly the hole is just too large for the turntable and it rattles or, or and it knocks now turntable is a brand new, this is a um, the whole laser assembly taken from another CD player which is you know was almost unused since new um, but with that magnet there in the middle what really mates are just those three metal studs so it just doesn't have enough force to clamp it it is enough when a CD is perfect but if it isn't you know it just I have several CDs that just won't play on this welcome to the puck removed from one of the Tascam units that has as you see huge metal plate and you put it there none of that happens you see how fast it read and you know if I play it it just starts playing I probably that it's nice music but I won't uh, bother you but you say, oh well this is CDRs, well here it is, black market CDs from the 70s it does the same thing well, it made me a liar, this time it, it actually uh, uh, read it, but, but it, it has difficulties uh, and of course the reason is that this rattles even more, but of course if you put that CD and use a proper pack it doesn't rattle at all all silent so you see non-original pack actually is better for this player and I don't know if this is not what I'm going to include with the unit when somebody buys it this was originally prepared for a customer in New Zealand and he wanted this or Kenny Shiwata CD63 Mark II so I offered him both in now he but none, none of them. So, um, and I especially finished them off. I had them in 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 in, in stock for for yonks, but uh, but they needed work. So, so I finally done them for him. And um, and I have a soft spot for the guy because he was the first one who bought from my web page uh, www.here.net.au here for high end audio restoration, which I haven't updated for a long time. But that's all, folks. And um, the next one will be about this uh, Sudgen pre-power amp we just recapped over there. Real vintage stuff, like 50 or 60 years old. Bye-bye.